Once upon a time, there was a little girl and her name was Colleen. And she lived in a place that was very beautiful. Every day she would wake up to the sunshine and she would run outside and she would listen to the birds and she would look at the mountains behind the forest where she lived and she would feel the glow that came from nature and she was very happy. Colleen loved the water and she sometimes liked to splash in the waves and she loved to run on the green grass and sometimes she imagined what it would be like if she went beyond the forest. But her mom told her, no, Colleen, you should not go beyond where we live. So one day Colleen was sitting in the forest and she was looking at the hills that glowed in the light far beyond. And suddenly she noticed that there was a creature sitting down there too. It looked like it might be a dog. Maybe it was even one of her friend's dogs. And she heard it, she heard it softly speaking in dog tones. And she wondered, was it, was it wishing that it could go far beyond the forest and see what was there too? So Colleen went back to her mom and she told her that she had seen the dog. And her mom said, Colleen, this is a good thing that you've seen that because we are going to take a journey. And so she and her mom set out on a journey. And this was a journey that was much farther than Colleen had ever been before. They had to cross a bridge that stretched over a very long land and they had to go over some water. And there she could see on the other side of this distant journey, a house waiting for her far, far away with a new green forest in the background and something beckoning, something calling to Colleen's name. And so they traveled onward. And soon it was that they arrived at the, the pathway that led to Colleen's new house. And Colleen looked at the light that shined on the hills and she remembered the light that she had seen in her home that she had before. And she said to herself, this is the same light that rises where I used to live and now it's over here. And so I know that I am home. And so she lived in the beautiful new place that had the same light and the same joy, although the trees looked different than what she had seen before. And when we come back in January, we're going to learn how to make all these new colors that were in the story today. So now I wish you a very good home wherever you may be now. Bye.